The best things in life are passed down from generation to generation. This is something that my grandpa believed. When I was about eight or nine, my grandpa taught me about leather work. Uh, leather work is something that was really important to him, still is, and now it's important to me as well. And today I will be demonstrating and teaching you about leather work. First, I will explain the history of leather work and leather where it comes from. Then I will be uh, getting started in the basics and tools you use in leather work. And finally, I'll be uh, explaining to you the steps of working on leather and how you actually go about doing that. And so first off, as I said, the, the history. Leather comes from animals. Where on animals? Well, it's the hide or the, the, the outside of the animal. They turn that into leather. And so what we generally want to use in leather work or when you work on leather would be something like this. It is uh, the leather we get from cows is generally what you would want to use for this. And leather originally would ba was basically used for clothing and pretty much clothing and sometimes in parts of shelter or other things, but mainly that's what it was used for. But now leather is used all over the place. You can find it in accessories, different things all over, and it's really spread out like that. And getting started, the basics. So there are some basic tools you want to know in leather working. And the first one is called the swivel knife. It's called the swivel knife because it swivels. You want to place your index finger right here in the U groove in here, and your other fingers you will place around the outside at the bottom right here to help get a grip as you turn and cut into the leather. Another tool is what you would use with a, a mallet right here is a, what's called a beveler tool. It is used uh, on the outside the lines you've made with your your knife, your swivel knife. You would use that and you would sort of impress it so it helps the image stick up and out and create a three-dimensional effect. Next tool that is uh, widely used is the background tool. It is used to, it has a crisscross shape on the bottom and it's used to press down the leather and help the other parts of the leather sort of stand out and stick up, sort of in a way like the beveler tool used to help it stand out and sort of come across in a different way. Another tool is the seer tool. It is basically a circle that is used for design purposes and things of that nature. Another tool is the shell tool. It's called a shell tool because when you put on the leather and stamp it, it looks like a seashell, essentially. And uh, another one is this tool right here. It is used for design and things of that nature. And those are the basic tools of leather. And uh, the steps of working on leather. How do you go about it? So first off, you want to always take your leather. You always want to make sure that it's wet. You want to keep it damp or make sure that when you the reason you want to keep it wet is so that whenever you uh, use your uh, knife or your other tools, you want to make sure that it compresses down and then when it dries, it stays that way. So it's best if it's wet. And uh, most likely when you're starting out, you want to start out with the design. Something maybe like this. And you would trace that onto your leather and then use your swivel knife like I talked about earlier and you would cut around that, trace that design. That's the first uh, step in leather. Then you would want to take your tools that I showed you earlier right here and you want to uh, use them uh, like this to uh, add detail and press and make create a 3D image on the leather and you want to use all your tools to the effect and create the leather and design how you want to create it. And the final step after you've used your different tools here and you've created it and it looks pretty much how you want it to look. Uh, one of the final things you want to probably do is use a dye or a stain. So a uh, leather that starts out like this, you might want to make a different color. There's multiple colors. There's also natural dyes that make it sort of a naturally darker color. And uh, I have an example here of a wallet I made right here. And it was originally this color, light, but as you can see I used a dye on it and you can see some designs I did on there. And then I also used lace on the outside. That's another final step is adding the final finishes and touches that you want to add to your leather. And in conclusion, today I have demonstrated and taught you about leather work. I started out with the history of leather, then I went to the basics, tools you want to use, and finally I taught you the steps of how to work on leather and starting out and finishing. And I want to go back to the Quote, the best things in life are passed down from generation to generation. That is, 
again, something my grandfather emphasized, and I really want to, uh, I emphasize that as well in my life, and I always want to remember that and hope that you too uh, can come something away from this and maybe learn something more about leather that you didn't before.